Oh my god, it's so cold outside. Anyway, today what we're gonna do, we're gonna build a login screen. Um, no you're not. So, I'll be honest and say that this video basically didn't go according to plan at all. So first off, thank you to Smart Proxy for sponsoring this video. If you want a 15% discount, you can use the code CAL15. I'll talk more about Smart Proxy and their amazing services at the end of the video. Uh, but yeah, like I said, this video basically didn't go according to plan at all. Which I guess is just like programming in a nutshell. Uh, so yeah, this video is just like me attempting to combine productive work with also what I would call productive free time. And ending up somewhere in the middle, not really making much progress on anything. But it starts with a road trip and a quick snippet from my current I'm sure if podcast. someone can get the dictionary definition. Yep. Yeah, we stayed in a tent outside, we cooked our food on an open fire. Yep. We roughed the elements overnight mm -hmm. and we packed up our campsite and we drove home. Okay, that's uh, your evidence side of things. That's what happened. Members of the jury, Hamish camped at one of our friends' houses. His name is Ryan. Oh, he was at Ryan's house. I mean, yeah, he, he stayed inside his house, but he's, he lives in the area. I called Ryan. He lives in the area. It's I nice to see Ryan. So yeah, my plan was basically to go away for a couple of days and just like double down and focus on finishing the login screen for the app. And this is because with a login screen, I figured that I could publish the app as like a super early, not even really a beta version of the app, but like a super early version. But that would allow me to then look for beta testers, which I thought was something that you might be interested in. And that way you could also get like a first hand view of the progress inside the app as I build it out, which I thought might be really interesting as a side thing to this whole series of the startup vlog thing. So this is still my focus and still my goal. I just didn't accomplish it in this particular video, but what ended up happening instead is that I got bogged down with just lots of like minor errors and bugs that I needed to fix. And that just ended up taking a lot of my time and energy. And actually, to be honest, it didn't even take that much time. It just took up a lot of my energy and ended up just making me, or I got quite like demotivated by that. So instead, what I decided to do was just to stop working and instead focus on the second reason why I went away, which was to just relax. So I really didn't get much done that day and I just decided to go to bed and uh, I'm still reading the Permission Marketing by Seth Godin. And then the next day I actually got a fair amount of work done in the morning. And my idea here was to basically work until it got bright outside and then try to go out and track animals in the snow. And the thing is that right now here in Sweden, it's dark for almost the entire day. So it's only bright for around five hours per day. And that can actually be a fairly good thing because it means that I only have five hours to be outside. And so the whole idea with this trip was to basically go outside, be outside for those five hours and then spend the rest of my time just hyper-focused working on the app. But pretty much straight out of the gate that morning I got stuck and I ended up spending a couple more hours working than I actually intended. Which led to me feeling even more stressed because I didn't want to miss out on the daylight. But then at around 10am I stopped and made some breakfast and headed out into the snow.
So I spent the rest of my day just climbing different mountains and looking for moose. I actually caught a glimpse of two, but I didn't manage to catch them on camera, so here's a shot of two deer instead that I found as well. And this day to me was just amazing. I love walking around in nature and just looking for different animals. And I know that I didn't get much done in this video, so I was kind of debating whether to even post this video or not. But my goal with this startup series is to actually show the whole process as it is. And this was the progress for this week. And even though I do feel a little bit shit about the fact that like I didn't get much done, I feel like that's gotta be alright sometimes and I think it's important that I also took the time to go outside and just not code all the time. Uh, not that I code all the time but still. But yeah my goal is still to get that login screen done so that I can start looking for beta testers so let me know if that's something that you might be interested in. Okay, so now I just want to again thank Smart Proxy for sponsoring this video and uh, being just a great choice when it comes to anything related to proxies. I highly recommend checking them out and you can use the coupon code CAL15 for a 15% discount. So a proxy server is essentially a middleman between you and the website that you're trying to access. So if you're using a proxy, any requests that you make will first go through the proxy and then connect to your target website. And this is really awesome because you'll get all the information that you need without revealing your true data. And when it comes to all things proxy, smart proxy is definitely a smart choice. They offer over 40 million top-notch residential proxies worldwide over 40,000 shared and dedicated data center proxies from the US and search engine proxies that function as a full stack scraping API. Smart Proxy also comes with additional free apps, efficient self-service and 24 seven customer support. Proxies are a huge help in the digital business scene. First, they can automate market research, which will let you build lists of product names, prices or descriptions and compare how you're doing against your competitors. Secondly, your proxies can enable you to track SEO metrics such as paid and organic data and also up-to-date keyword rankings. Finally, with proxies, creating and managing multiple social media accounts is a breeze. Proxies really do wonders when it comes to collecting data online, so give Smart Proxy a try and see for yourself. There'll be a link in the video description.